Mel also was saying that they are wholeheartedly still going to be doing Zen Originals. And there is no bones about it. Why? Because they're profitable for them. Very profitable. Way more profitable than... <laughs> Than the Belly Williams tables, particularly those alphanumerics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you when you spend that time of uh, that much R and D making them come forth, yeah, that's a lot of uh, development time that you spent. Um, but the Zen originals, even if they're licensed Zen originals, you're still one license removed, which is you're not having to pay for the Williams for license games. That's yeah, right. um, and you have much more control over that and license let's agreement. Let's be serious. Let's be serious. It's a lot more popular property. Like, everyone, everyone knows The Mandalorian. Even if you're living under a rock, you've at least heard of the name. So, you know, uh, a lot of the Belly Williams tables, like, people know Pinball and Belly Williams, but th there's not the brand recognition anymore because it's not part of the zeitgeist. Well, I think that's why... Uh... In the case of the arcade one-up cabs, that the Attack from Mars cab is going to be website only, and not mm. in stores because there's going to be a lot of people that have no clue what Attack from Mars is, but everybody knows what Star Wars is and everybody knows what Marvel mm -hmm. is. I think you did on the money there. Uh, that's yeah, that'll be why it's uh, site only. Which is it's it, it's a bit of a a sting to me <laughs> because yeah, to walk up into the store and get a really cheap one when they go uh, well there's that <laughs> but no, but also just no i mean as pinball fans that we are you know those are those are religious artifacts <laughs> yeah they are exactly right and, and, the, and the idea that people just would go nah, no ooh, star wars you know it's just it's kind of kind of hurts <laughs> but you know it is what it is right like yeah it's, we know why we, we don't like it but we know why <laughs> but so what that was the interesting the little tidbit that he threw in there when because the same i mean if if attack from mars isn't name brand recognition you know paranormal and tables. and <laughs> you know the, the these wholehearted tesla Tesla, yeah, that that's not going to garner attention at all. So it was interesting no. for him to say that those might wind up making it into cabinet form, but as padding for some Still of these other for other titles. Yeah. Exactly, because like if you did just have a if you did just have a Jurassic Park machine and you weren't able to throw the other Universal tables onto it, great. So you've got three tables now. You need seven more. What would you put into something like? A universal pack like what out of those zen originals would make sense to put in alongside jurassic park like it'd be it'd have to be some sort of science fiction theme right because essentially it's not well kind of that's what jurassic park is sort of science fiction um but it's a bit of a long bow to draw really isn't it like i don't like, think you i don't think you try to theme it at all I think you literally just go Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park plus seven more tables. Yeah, see, Jurassic <laughs> Park plus some killer filler. Here you go. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it, think about think about the the Toy Shock machine and the At Games machine. Are they clamoring to say that it's Gottlieb tables? And it's these, no, it's Black Hole and Haunted House because those are the only two things that anybody recognizes. Yeah, or anyone who wants to recognize from Gottlieb, let's be serious. Right. You know, because if you put Bone Busters out there, people would be like, well, what the heck is that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's... Yeah. And if you put Class of 1812 in there, they'll go, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if you know anything about Gottlieb tables. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was, it was, it was just... Interesting knowing that they're that even the Zen originals aren't off the table for being put into one of these cabs. Um, but yeah, they'll be they'll probably just be used as filler. Uh, but he didn't drop any hints as to what the <laughs> what that table pack that they've been working on forever contains. Yeah, it's gonna be surprising to see what it looks like next year. Um 
I, I don't really have any preconceived ideas of what it will be again because I don't really have a lot of knowledge of the the franchise. So it's going to be new and shiny to me. Uh, no, I'm talking about the 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 real Zen originals. Oh, sorry, the Zen originals. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, I I still say that it's going to be Operentia and Dreadnautical and they probably Castle. Dodgeball. Well, it might be Castle Storm too, but I don't know. You know, we need Disco Dodgeball Pinball. Come on, like it's just like the most obvious thing to make a pinball out. Of. <laughs> Why don't they do it? You know, Take well, I've, I've said that or Infinity Golf. Oh, like yeah, Infinity Golf is another classic pinball trope that you could do. Like golfing pinballs are great, except for teed off. Yeah, except. For... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, except you know, for teed off. Like, the, like there's so much intellectual property that could be turned into like that. But the thing is, though, those are not. I mean, sure, th they're brands because they're Zen brands. But do they have the, I guess, the brand recognition that would be needed, right? Yeah. Like, sure, they'd be great for the, the FX3 ecosystem. They'd be welcome with open arms. But I just wonder, you know, it, it might work. Like, if you were looking at those ones to put alongside another cabinet of Zen Originals, if they start building up those newer ones and then put all those into like a makeup pack that would make more sense but i don't really think at this stage things like tesla and um paranormal and stuff like that would really stand up to critique against some of these newer tables like uh jurassic park 